Hi, I'm Basil with Project Pando and today we're going to show you how to build an air pruning bed. And I want to say, you can do this however you want. You do not have to use these exact sizes. It can be any dimension you please. Uh, there's just some basic concepts, which is that you need a mesh on the bottom. So long as you do that, it really doesn't matter. But we'll show you how we do it. Okay, so I want to show you how we like to build our boxes. Uh, the whole box is built on this idea of getting a four foot by two foot because we want to match it with this hardware cloth that we're using. And Leo and I are working together. He's going to help me build this box. Uh, but we want to show you how this is going to look. So imagine this being on the bottom of the box, um, but it fits just so. We'll be nailing this in using the uh, poultry staples. And this is a quarter inch hardware cloth. I want to show you this specifications of this wood here. This is all treated lumber. Uh, these are two by eights. And we've got um, 48 inches long on the outside, 21 inches long on the inside. These are also 21 inches, two by twos. And these will be used to help support the hardware cloth. Uh, to secure the corner, we've got these, which are corner brackets. They're three inches long. And to secure these posts inside, we'll be using the T-bracket, also a three-inch T-bracket. You can get these at a local hardware store, no problem. We'll also be building this riser. And the riser will actually sit on top of the bottom box. And the idea is that with the riser in place, we can put in more substrates. Uh, we've got more room for roots to grow, and then when it comes time to actually take the trees out, we can lift the riser off and it makes it easier to access the trees. The riser, these are two by sixes instead of two by eights. Again, 48 inches long, 21 inches long on the inside. No support here necessary because it's just a riser. Last but not least, we've got some tin snips. These are really handy for cutting the hardware cloth. We've got some hammers. We've got this power drill here. And then we've got screws to hold in the brackets. We're using an eight by one and a half. And as I mentioned earlier, we've got the poultry net staples. These are a three quarter inch. But I do want to just say one more time, there is so much flexibility in how you build. We chose this method. You might want to do something else. It's no problem. So basic overview on how I'm going to build this. First going to build this outer frame, two by eights with the corner brackets. Then we'll attach these inside pieces using the T-bracket. Next, I'll be nailing this hardware cloth into place.
Okay, so we finished building the box and we're gonna set this riser on top of the base so you can see what this looks like. Uh, you'll see that we now have about 14 inches of depth and we can fill this up with a substrate. Uh, for that substrate, we would recommend what is called leaf mold, you know, just old leaves, basically. Um, any leaves that you've got, stuff them in here. And then what you need to do, this is very important, you need to put this whole thing on bricks or cinder blocks or something like that, because the whole idea is that as the roots grow down through this box and they reach the bottom here, where we have this hardware cloth, um, the air will stop their downward growth and now they put roots out laterally and that will make for really healthy young trees. If you've got a situation like this where it's just concrete underneath, then two bricks will suffice. But if it's soil down there and maybe some weeds are going to be growing up, you might need to set this up much higher, maybe even on the end of a cinder block or something like that. I really hope you enjoy your air printing bed, raising some trees and whatnot. Let us know if you have any questions.